Hello and hello one more time. Welcome to another episode of The Curtis Zone. I, of course, your amazing host, Dylan J. Curtis, ask that you hit that like and subscribe button for more content, for more of me, my smiling face, and more of my bouncing packs. Today, we're doing another history of episode. We're doing a history of on Bakugan Battle Brawlers, New Vestroya. I liked it so much. It was one of my favorite shows growing up, and it was part of my Saturday morning lineup. Till this day, I cannot enjoy breakfast foods on a Saturday morning unless I'm watching cartoons. That's my thing, okay? Seriously, breakfast foods and cartoons. That's how I do it. But before we get started with this episode, let's get started with some news, everybody. Let's start with the first piece of news right now. Like, right now. The first piece of news is the fact that the Disney Channel has released Descendants Rise of the Red. Quick review on it. It was fun, exciting. China and McLean did a great job in it. I personally loved it, and I hope that everyone enjoys it as much as I did. It had great music, great acting, great story. Watch it. I'm not going to spoil the whole thing, but I will tell you that it was amazing. The next piece of news is this. I hope that everyone has seen the tra the teaser trailer for Captain America Brave New World. It, it, it looks like it's going to be a whole lot of fun for everyone, and it looks like the MCU is getting back into the movie business. So... They're coming back to the silver screen. I can't wait, you can't wait, but hey, let's just wait. Let's wait. The final piece of news is this. I hope that everyone is excited because the, the news that I've heard is that a new Now You See Me film is set to release very, very soon. More specifically, between December 2025 and February 2026. It looks like it's gonna be a lot more fun with more magic, more mystery, and an even better score. I loved the first two. Mark Ruffalo did a great job with Jesse Eisenberg and, and Will and Woody Harrelson. It's going to be fun. Let's watch it, my friends. Now, let's get started with this history of episode. We're doing a history of Bakugan Battle Brawlers, New Vestroya. This is going to be a long one, so I ask that everybody hit the like and subscribe button for more content. And as always, remember, I really love it when you guys get in that comment section down below and tell me what you want to see. If you have any questions, comments, concerns, if you want to make a request for any episode on here on the Curtis Zone, I will give it to you, okay? You want a history of, you want a versus battle, a top 10, a how powerful wood, or just a pull list episode, put it in the comment section down below and I will get back to you soon, all right? Let's get started, my friends. And remember, like and subscribe. Now, Bakugan New Destroyer would have its first episode in May of 2009 and would last exactly one year being because its final episode was in May of 2010. It was adapted into a popular trading card game by Spin Master and it was also a worldwide phenomenon. I mostly loved it because I loved the first season of Bakugan. It was the second season of Bakugan Battle Ballers. But that's enough of the non-fiction origin. Let's get into the fictional origin. And remember... Hit that like and subscribe button. It is months after the defeat of Naga in Bakugan Season 1, and a group known as the Vestals have come to New Vestroya. They've come to New Vestroya because their planet has been used up. All of its resources are gone, and so they come to New Vestroya looking for a new home. They come with their leader of, with their leader and their king known as King Zenoheld. He has come with all of them, and they have taken control of the Bakugan world. When they arrive on Bakugan new home called New Vistora, they then turn all the Bakugan back into balls and capture them. And then they also start to capture the, the legendary Bakugan who defeated Naga with the help of their top brawlers. Their top brawlers are Spectra Phantom, their top Pyrus brawler. Then you have Gus, their top Subterra brawler. Then there's Mylene Ferris, the top Aquas brawler. Then you have Volt Wheeler, the top Chaos brawler. Link Maracuda, who is the top Ventus Brawler, and finally Shadow Probe, the top Darkest Brawler. Along the way, we meet Professor Clay's daughter, Mira. Mira would learn about all of the things that the Bakugan were going through by her own people, and so she would team up with Ace and Baron in order to stop them and form the Bakugan Battle Brawler's new re resistance. Later to join the resistance will be Marucho and Dan after they were thrusted back into battle with Pyrus Dragonoid. And there you have it, the origin of New Vestroya.
And now let's talk about important moments. The first important moment we're going to talk about is the return of Shun. Here's the thing about Shun. He had been accidentally sent into the world of New Destroy because portals were opening all over Earth at random. And because the vessels had been invading New Vestroya, some people, some of the Bakugan had to open portals to gain allies. However, Shun accidentally jumped into a portal while working on his skills in the tree in his compound, basically running around in the trees. So he found the portals by accident, and this is when he would find Ingram. He would then launch a solo campaign against the vessels to free the Bakugan. It's very important because he would then join the Bakugan new Restore Resistance and become an, an even stronger fighter. So, yeah, there's that. The next important moment we're going to talk about in New Vestroya is the introduction of the Bakugan Trap. You see, the world of Bakugan is no longer just round. Now, there are these things called Bakugan Traps, which combined with your regular Bakugan give them enhanced attack powers. I thought it was pretty cool, but I don't know about everybody else. The next important moment we're going to talk about is when we learn more about Spectra Phantom. More specifically, who he is under the mask. You see, Spectra wore a mask, but he, he, when he revealed it, it is found out that he is Mira's long-lost brother. And so, the two of them go on a campaign to stop King Xenoheld and free the Bakugan together. This is close towards the end of the season. The final important moment we're going to talk about is when... The six legendary soldiers of New Vestroya give their power to the Bakugan Resistance and basically evolve all the Bakugan Brawlers. You should know about it because I also talked about that in my Evolution of Drago episode. But that's just me talking. Now that that's said and done, let's talk about some of my favorite moments. I have four favorite moments that I want to talk about. The first favorite moment I want to talk about is the episode known as Facing Ace. I personally only like it because I like the, the title, Facing Ace. But in this episode, Pyrus Dragonoid and Dan would go up against the go against the Bakugan Battle Brawler's Resistance top darkest brawler, Ace, and his and his Bakugan Darkest Percival. Now, it was an it was an impressive episode because we are first introduced to Pyrus Dragonoids, Pyrus Spin Dragonoids, newest abilities, newest attacks, and I loved it. You will love it. Watch it, my friends. My second favorite moment is when we're first introduced to Aquas Elfin. Aquas Elfin, who just so happens to be the best friend of Preus. Now, Aquas Elfin is a very powerful Bakugan, and she teams up with Marucho who misses Preus a lot, especially after he has been captured by the Prince of, of Vestal. And they're all trying to get all the legendary Bakugan back. I love the episode when we're first introduced to her because it is also the first time we are introduced to Shun's Bakugan, but we did not know it was him. My third favorite moment is when we are first introduced to the 7-in-1 Maxis Dragonoid. That was an important moment, but it's also my favorite moment because the 71 Maxis Dragonoid is the biggest and most powerful of all the Bakugan. And I personally liked it because it is basically all the attributes combined together into Pyrus Dragonoid. It was amazing to see it, and I hope that everyone likes it as much as I do. My final favorite moment I want to talk about is when Dan and Drago would go up against Spectra and Helios in what is supposed to be the final episode but was what i thought was the final episode but was not in fact it was a such an amazing moment because dark because helios is both a pyrus and darkest bakugan and drago is basically the infinity core as a bakugan and not only that helios has turned himself into a mechanical version of himself so that he could combine with all the other mechanical bakugan in this episode as well it was awesome to see it i hope that you guys like it Now, normally I would give you guys, tell you guys what happens in the final episode, but as I don't want to spoil it anymore, so I'm not going to tell you what's gonna, what happened in the final episode. Instead, I'm just going to go ahead and give you guys powers and abilities of the main protagonist. Now, here's the thing about 
the main protagonist and the powers and abilities. They're the same as Bakugan Battle Brawlers, the first season. The only difference is, this season you get a gauntlet. The gauntlets are, are basically your life gauges and how you sort your ability cards, the whole nine yards. Also, each Bakugan is, un is unique in its own way with their own attack and defensive capabilities. Gate cards are power-ups, whereas ability cards are attack and defensive capabilities. You also have what are known as Bakugan Traps. The Bakugan Traps are not round, instead they are different shapes and they have the ability to enhance the attack capabilities of every Bakugan that is in New Vestroya. I, re I personally recommend that you guys watch Bakugan Battle Brawlers New Vestroya. With all that said, another episode of The Curtis Zone has come to a close. Ladies and gentlemen, remember to get in that like and subscribe button and make sure that you press them. And as always, get in that comment section too. And if you guys have any questions, comments, concerns, or if you just want to make a request for any episode here on The Curtis Zone. I will see you all very, very soon with more episodes, more content, and of course, to answer your questions. I love you all. See you later.